We're learning new details about a Rhode Island senator who's at the center of a police investigation. We started asking questions after investigators responded outside Senator Nicholas Kettle's home this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is in the newsroom now with the latest. Caroline? Well, Shannon, unfortunately, this isn't the first time Rhode Island vo voters have heard about an elected official getting in trouble. But in this case, we're told the investigation into State Senator Nick Kettle has nothing to do with his work as a lawmaker. Even so, his attorney telling Target 12 tonight he'll likely resign. An unclear future in the General Assembly for State Senator Nicholas Kettle. Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Philbin confirming to Target 12 that state police are investigating the senator. Investigators responded at the lawmaker's Coventry home Tuesday morning, but they couldn't provide further details on that investigation. Then on Tuesday night, Kettle's attorney Paul DeMeo telling Target 12 the investigation has nothing to do with the Republican senator's duties as an elected official, but instead over a breakup with a girlfriend. DeMeo says investigators executed a search warrant at Kettle's house on Tuesday, going through the entire home, even taking his cell phone. DeMeo says Kettle later provided investigators with a computer. The attorney also telling Target 12 he doesn't believe the 27-year-old senator will be charged, but he does believe it's likely that Kettle will resign from the General Assembly. Kettle is one of just five Republicans in the 38-member Senate. Minority Leader Dennis Algier telling us Tuesday night he can't comment on the situation until he knows the facts of the investigation. Senate President Dominic Ruggiero with a similar response. His spokesman telling us he hasn't talked to Senator Kettle yet, nor does he know anything about the investigation. And DeMeo telling us tonight that Kettle hasn't spoken to state police yet either. Now, if he were to resign, there is the possibility of a special election, depending on timing at this point. Former state rep Mar Michael Marcello, who lost re-election back in 2016, he told Eyewitness News earlier tonight that he'd consider running for that open seat. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.